organizing my closet. Go outside. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna be organizing my closet. Now I know you guys love when I do home decor, home organization type videos. So if you're interested in seeing how I do in this video, please keep on watching. And guys, remember to download the Link app, the fast and easy way to safely send and receive money on your mobile phone available both on google play and the apple store also follow them at link jamaica on instagram hi guys welcome back to another wig review video today we will be checking out one of my favorite companies short minimalistic wig and that is going to be from love me hair so guys this is going to be love me hair's short cut curly minimalistic undetectable lace wig now i do not know what that wig is or what the wig should look like but i'm told it is a 4x4 closure wig and it should be so short and so cute now as usual let's get into what love me hair has sent in the box first So of course we have our cute little love me hair package inside is a leopard melt band and also an edge brush then of course we have a sun cap wig cap and a cute little user's guide now let's get into this shortcut curly undetectable lace wig this should be for girls who don't want a wig that is too exciting a wig that is doing too much you know too much color or too much length this is a wig for a girl who just wants a cute little as the name says minimalistic look now this is gonna be eight inches right and of course they sent us a little organza bag to put our wig in after we finished wearing it now the quality is as good as you're gonna get for a wig this short there's no shedding and it feels just about silky now of course this is what the lace closure looks like and again it is a 4x4 closure you know they're gonna have clips on either side clip towards the back and of course elastic band to fasten the wig to your head now let's go ahead and get a close-up so really really good texture the wig is already parted out so all we're gonna need to do is just cut the lace and maybe apply a thin layer of got to be glue to just fasten the wig to our head or we could actually just put the wig on with elastics and see just how we like that because maybe glue is not even needed this is what the wig looks like up close now let's get into the installation Right, guys so this is what the love me trendy short cut curly minimalistic wig looks like again it is eight inches and it is a four by four closure so we're just gonna go in and cut some of the excess lace off from the front of this wig There you have it guys this is what the trendy shortcut curly minimalistic wig looks like from love me hair now again this wig is eight inches it is a four by four closure unit all i did was just cut the excess lace from the front i applied absolutely no glue no normal lace glue no got to be glue nothing at all there we have it the wig is just resting on my head i put a little bit of oil sheen and oil in it just to give it a more moisturized look you could definitely go ahead and wet this hair if you want to give it a more sleek look or you could wear it just as is cut it and frame it some more to your face but this is it for this cute little wig from love me hair now as always thank you so much love me hair for sponsoring today's video now back to your regular programming boss 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 then it's in to nine you touch that seal. Boss, boss. 
yeah guys as i was saying i know you guys love when i do videos that feature my home or home stuff lifestyle type stuff so we are in my bedroom today with my closet and we are going to be organizing it no i've never done anything like this before in terms of like organizing my closet i'm a very simple girl when it comes to my closet and just clothing overall in terms of me not have like a special way for put the stuff them before this my shoes were on the floor but just tuck everything in the closet and do a me do now me personally i would have preferred in this apartment if the closet was you know something more special than this but that's just my preference because of course people have it say it's an uptown apartment so i should have a walk-in closet lo and behold i do not have one this is the type of closet that i have i feel like it's okay for what it is doing right now i mean if god is willing i get the chance to yeah so let me say change things up i would probably change this closet but for right now at this me i work with and at this way i forgot to work with you understand what i say now as i was saying guys me not have no formal organization so when i pull my closet you know probably like i say i would not agree that closet looks so because again me just stuff everything inside but i have been wanting to try to you know probably color coordinate kind of set things up a little bit differently now i'm gonna really buy nothing for the video here i'm gonna be using stuff that i already have i have two types of hangers i have these clear ones here that i used to have from i had my clothing store and then i bought these velvet ones from price smart no me not a throw away when me have to go buy new stuff i'm gonna work with what i have currently me don't have it me not care what i want to think i am working with what i have what i probably do is i'll probably use these ones on the top rack and these ones on the bottom but let's see how it goes when we get inside the closet i do have another box over there with probably half of these black velvet ones on the inside if i need extras because as i said some of the clothes are all four things up on one angle so i need to take them off and like separate them now again i like organizing and i don't know if you guys like it for that purpose too but it kind of frees up my headspace it makes it easier for me also when i need to get anything or when i'm doing anything like instead of dig through a rubble i can just get it in and find what i'm finding but i have always been putting off organizing my closet just because i know it's going to be a little bit difficult but of course i bring you guys on just about every other journey so why not bring you on this one so yes the aim is to just make the closet more attractive right I have some shoes boxes that I purchased on Amazon as of late. I'll go ahead and link those in the description box below. I think you get like 20 or 24 in the case and I have probably like three cases and all of my shoes still can't hold but I don't have anywhere to put everything as yet but we'll figure that out in the video. But you know for the talking let me show you guys what my closet looks like currently. Now the style here when I hang up the hang on the front I'm trying to stop that because I'm gonna like it. I'm trying to keep everything that's supposed to be in the closet in the closet. Now this this is what we are working with originally this closet only had the top rack but before i moved in i asked the owners if they could add a second rack to the bottom because i knew i had too much clothing right so as i said i have these shoes boxes here from amazon i have a few on top of the closet everything can all inside because of course i have too much clothes but i tried to set it up in a way where yeah sound like a little gradient tallest to shortest and then so on and so forth to try to accommodate the clothing that I have. Now as you guys can see, I just have everything thrown in here. Nothing is in any special order. So I kind of want to fix that. I also want to go ahead and take out stuff that I'm definitely not going to wear. Things I'm sure can't fit me. Things I'm going to put on for four or five years. You understand? I'm a certain can't fit me. Things are all bad color. I'm going to get rid of those things. But let us see what we're working with. stuff down so this is what i was telling you about like there are like four or five stuff on one hanger of course i don't really have space for long items so i'm still gonna have to fold them like how i did this but at least if, if i could fold like all the blocks on one hanger made i feel better maybe do away with a brown hanger yet too because it don't fit in the vibe that we're trying to create watch ya see how close i pull down close yeah i'm gonna do away with the ones the hangers that don't go with the vibe but for sure i'm gonna keep the black and clear ones so let's take these down. the game, no one replace me. Me love my guys, me all me me no chaser. 
guys there is not enough space on the bed to hold all this stuff this is where i am currently i have like half side taken down and then just a few from the bottom so these are the amazon shoes boxes i was telling you guys about they're plastic so they come unfolded and you have to fold them and put them together you can also join all of them into one i did that with the ones at the top but these ones at the bottom i never did it but these are actually really good and they're not too expensive so here i have them stacked at the bottom and then above the closet i have some more but what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to work with the stuff that i've taken down already i'm gonna just start putting them back inside so i'm gonna start with black and then brown and i'm gonna kind of do small tops then t-shirts then jackets let's see how that works but i'm gonna have to take from what's here and then organize them there because i don't have enough space on the bed to fit everything so let's go so like this guys i'm gonna take this black bodysuit off and because i want to start with the clear hangers up top first i'm gonna go ahead and put this bodysuit on a hanger for itself and start with black in the corner so that's my first black item so i'm gonna go ahead and seek out all the other black stuff so like this it's a jacket so this should be at the back so i'm doing small tops and then bigger tops if you get what i mean so clear hangers first and then i'm facing all my hangers in to the closet i'm not gonna have some facing on some facing in everything is going to be faced in so when i take it off it comes off like this and i'm putting it back i put it back like that just a little you know ocd organizers tip so i have some more black stuff do i still wear this black dress it's not my problem no because i don't ever feel like i should discard up anything i feel like i should have everything just in case now i still wear this black dress so i'm going to put it back on the inside so black dress should i put black dress before jacket yeah let me do that okay so definitely have to change this hanger you get what i mean like we might can't afford to buy all the same hangers but we're gonna work with the hangers that we have which are the clear ones and the black ones and just make it look neater because there's no reason why the place have to look so so black top and we're gonna put black long sleeve top towards where all the other long sleeve stuff are so when we're ready for go me go which i know is not anywhere too often it's just easier so if i want a black top or i want a crop top i can go to black crop top and find it quick and fast so dress long sleeve or oh, long sleeve or short sleeve i'm not even sure if that just i can't fit my number in i feel like it was too short the last time i wore it to church but i'm gonna leave it for right now and put it so all my tops or my dresses are facing front so this is that dress so i put it towards the back where the jacket is so more black tops so this is a black dress also so let's put it towards the back where the jacket is and so on and so forth this is a black skirt all right so like this now guys so i'm gonna change this hanger but oh this is gonna work because the clear hangers that i have are not made for all right i know what i'm gonna do they're not made for like these items like oh you see oh the black one of the bridge and you can't fold it i can't do that Okay hey guys, so oversized top, long sleeve is gonna go against the jacket, but behind the dress. Waiting. Or in front of the dress. Okay, so dresses and then jackets, right? Now the skirt, as I said, I'm gonna use this one since we're doing clear at the top. So we're gonna go with this. And I'm gonna put it towards the front. Let me know if you think it should go towards the front or not, because I'm not 100% sure. I don't know where shorts and those stuff are supposed to go, but this is a bodysuit. So let's get a look at clear hanger for this one. Let's take this shirt off it put it on and again i believe it's long sleeve so let's put it towards the back but in front of the top or should i do body suits oh my god i'm so stressed or should i do body suits no we're gonna put it with the tops yeah okay 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 i feel like i'm getting a hang of it so looking for more black stuff i feel like i could start with brown could start with dark brown okay that's next it's gonna be brown and then white so brown oh let me move some of these black stuff this is a romper but long sleeve so it's gonna go in front of the dresses but behind the tops dress long sleeve there that's blue this is another skirt so let's change the hanger or we could put both these skirts on one so both the skirts one hanger these are pants so let's put the pants in front of the bodysuit. What do you guys think? Should the pants have gone to the back with the skirt? I'm not sure. But let's see how it looks when we are done. Again, we have no experience and I watched no videos. So we are just freestyling and doing what we think will work for us, which is what you should do in your life. Do what works 
for you, right? So me might have show you the way here, but in truth and in fact, your closet can't go do it the way here. So you have to figure out a way for it work in a your closet. You know what I mean? Right. So this is gonna go behind the bodysuit. Also, I don't know the bodysuit. I won't put the bodysuit at the front, even though I long sleeve. So bodysuit towards the front. Then we're going to dresses. And this dress is sleeveless, so let's put that dress there. Alright. I feel like I have it. This is another dress. It's like a one shoulder thing I'm going right here. So, but I think I took the straps out. That's why it looks so. So again, short sleeve dress right here behind the bodysuit, starting the dress section. This is a sleeveless dress. So these are leggings. They're like tights. This one too. I'm gonna use this hanger and put these two on it. I was trying to stay away from putting two things on one hanger, but I mean in this case where it's not like me, I chuck it up. It's not so bad. So I put two on one and then I'm gonna put the pants to the front where the skirt and the one pants is right here. Not that bad. What do you think? I like it's a vibe. Something I'm going on. What do you think? This black and white top should be up here behind the bodysuit. Actually, in front of the body suits. Yeah, all right. One thing with me, me I smell good. Because right now, all me I take up them clothes here, me I smell my steel cologne and the items. And I love that. I love that for me as a good girl. Cologne stink for my clothes. Them, I'm not even aware wear them right now. Love that for the dolly. So this is colored. Watch out, you know, some of us are realized. Some have two of the same body suits. You see what organization calls? It show you say, I'll buy two things. Two of the same things. I never realized. This top is so cute. I need to wear this again. This is so cute. So put it behind this one here. Should I put this on a hanger for itself? Because this bodysuit and this bodysuit is very similar what do you think i put it for you know what let me put it by itself because right now we're trying to be the best that we can be so let's keep on the track that we've been on so let's use this one and it's gonna go right behind that one i just showed you guys right there black long sleeve crop top is gonna go right here with the other crop tops in long sleeve okay see right i saw a three different blows up on that one and yeah so let's keep this one one black sleeve long long black long black long black no crop top long black what long sleeve black crop top yeah why that be so difficult you dance girl damn you dance all right body sleeve body suit here there body suit short sleeve let's go right here this one oh this is a pink top i'm on the hanger here for this one shoulder top so let's do this one here, uh, we got a one sleeve, so let's put it behind that one. Would you consider this black or would you consider this red? We're gonna consider it black, you know? Yeah, I consider it black and put it with the tops, but it's a long sleeve, so we put it with the tops at the back of the tops because it's long sleeve and I understand the vibe. So this is another little crop top that I have. Need to find out enough for this. All the blows, yeah. I'm going to wear the blows, you know? I'm going to keep the blows in case I have like a, like a semi-formal or formal. You know, if they ever ask if I come to court, you have a little long sleeve top. You know, you know, just have be at girl clothes. You know, you have to balance it out. You have to have a little dress up clothes now where you can wear with a black long sleeve skirt and stuff. So that's why I kept this top. But I've had this top since I had the store. And I don't think I ever put it on. I put it on. I must have just go down the road, nothing serious. So I'm thinking to take it out and maybe donate it. Alright. Right, another black crop top here. Some of them clothes yeah, like I first me I see them. No sir. This one could actually go on a regular hanger. So I'm gonna switch this out and put it on one of these normal clear hangers. Yeah, what mean I run out of hanger? Now. But I really want to give each piece like a little section for itself. I don't want to have them chuck up, chuck up, chuck up, chuck up. I don't love that style. I eh? want everything to get a little section for themselves. So everything get for shine. And I get to wear my clothes equally. You get me? Then all the time, I just want to see them one suit of clothes. Yeah, have a weird go everywhere. So put that at the front. Guys, do you see what I'm talking about? Like, look at the black segment. I really feel that the pants stem are going to go up to the back. So the pants are going to go behind the jackets. See what they know. One thing. Look on the black section. I am on to something. So I'm going to keep it up. Alright. T-shirt. Oh, the t-shirt. You like it up? What it? Oh my god. I need to up the same way though. So t-shirt. Here so. So this dress. 
I'm gonna take it off this orange one and put it here. There we go. Oh, this was actually a set. <laughs> Woo! So I'm gonna go now. All right, so for the set, I'm gonna put the skirt on the hanger for, okay, no, I'm gonna do it so. Set, me that. So that's our set. Yeah, 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 yeah. section it's looking so good to me so far and i feel like i have a good like a good technique so i'm going to move on to the brown and then do the whites
right guys so i'm basically finished with the top i did not expect to run out of clear hanger so soon but i kind of made it work i had to like reorganize again because i started putting the black ones on this set so i had to take them off and put them on the bottom set and then we're back on track now but i am gonna open the other set of hangers since i'm at the bottom because we have a couple stuff to put on the black hangers for the bottom so i'm gonna do that finish up with the bottom and then show you guys the finished look end of this video i did most of the organizing there are still some pieces that are not in the closet because i do not have any more of the clear or black velvet hangers so i'm gonna have to go stop by price mart and get myself maybe two more boxes because i do have the pieces from the fashion over video to add to the closet but as of right now i am loving the way it turned out it's way more organized than what i had and i feel like the clothes are just sitting more nicely in the closet again like i said i I'm not able to use all the space at the bottom because I do have the shoe boxes there but that's fine to me I don't have that much clothes anyways to pull up all the rack that's at the bottom so we have to kind of make it work I did buy these puck lights they're called they're what I used under my kitchen cupboard in my kitchen tour video I have a couple left because I had bought two sets so I'm gonna add them to the top of the closet because of course if you know me if light not in I then it's not me for true so I'm gonna add these and hopefully they work and give the closet like a little vibe you know what I say? it is remote operated but there are batteries in it so I'm gonna add the battery them again I bought that big set of like batteries at price mark also just for these purposes so this is a light it has white red green blue and then off of course like i said you can operate it with the remote so i'm gonna add it to the top and see what it looks like give me to the game don't want to replace me me love my energy strip me no chaser all of my guys know me all about me paper me got me girls all around me here we have the lights added to the closet i think they give it a little vibe tell me what you guys think or is it just me you know i had to go with these lights i probably should have gotten something brighter but i swear by these lights i've used them before and they've lasted me a very long time so that's why i just said okay i already have them so let me lose what i have but look at the organization guys the black the browns the nudes the whites the pinks then we down to the orange the green the blues the grays guys i love it it. i love it it took me about two hours definitely some dedication in this but i feel like i am gonna love the results like when i'm trying to get ready for whenever i do decide to go out which is not often but maybe this will give me a little push you know like it's so much easier to find my stuff everything is sorted short to tall dresses separate the sets are with each other like yeah i love it so these lights do use three batteries each that's the only downfall but again if you could buy the batteries in like the big pack then you're quite okay it's not like you're gonna have it on all the while so you'd have to worry about it dying quickly because from i did the kitchen video i had those same batteries in till now and i've never ever changed them <laughs> again guys thank you so much for watching this video it was quite a journey and i'm not done yet as i said i'm gonna have to get some more hangers to put the rest of my stuff up but as of right now here we have it like this video guys comment below what you think of the organization would you try it have you ever done it what do you guys think i could do differently you know i'm always open to you guys suggestion remember this is not a very big fancy closet this is a normal everyday closet where you see in any house there is no drawers there is no nothing i can't walk in 
my closet. My closet is just a boops bops. Open the door like one school bus, and I made that. So comment below what you guys think I can add. Again, these are the boxes that I have my shoes in. They're there, they're there as well. I link them along with the lights. But yes, guys, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.